And hello, hello. It is a me, a Mario. I think I've got everything set up right. Let's check it's actually exporting. It is. Hello to the no people currently watching because it's eight seconds in. <laughs> What's I doing? Oh yeah. Ugh. I slightly mistimed my lunch. Hello, Dylan. So I'm gonna be a little inactive for the first few minutes, just seeing hopefully, you know, ostensibly letting people have time to jump in. But uh I will be taking Suggestions on what to do. Uh, yep, that's that's the places where the links need to be linked. Good morning, Stargazer. Ah, oh, Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Note to self, don't leave metal cutlery on top of freshly microwaved things. Um, they get hot. Hello, playing RimWorld. Um, yep, yeah, that's, that's all good. Uh, I'm just uh, trying to stick to my old video schedule of It Is Wednesday, My Dudes. As, uh, at least at one point was rather popular, as there was not much on on Wednesdays. And by rather popular, I think at one point I had 20 concurrent views. Exciting. So yeah, I've rebuilt my house again. Again. This is the third edition of this workshop now. So I've... Uh Got an item collector now, which I found out you can paint. I'm actually collecting eggs now that I went and found an Oviraptor. That Brontosaurus egg it really Ooh, excuse me. Gave me a bump start on that one. Um Wow, I did not use much wood. My house is currently covered in uh, compies and dodos, because I was trying to um, reasons, min-maxing mostly. Uh, it's more, more of a, like a gorilla than a dwarf. Uh, with at least the proportions. Because I was like, what happens if I min-max the legs and arms? I can reach the floor! <laughs> Fallout, from what I've seen, looks to be a good game. What it apparently is not, because I've not played much of the others, is it is not a good Fallout game. They'd be a bit like if Ark released, like, a really good quality, like, you know, on-rail shooter. I mean, you know, it's it's a thing, but it's, it's not an art game, really, is it? Yeah, got a keg, so I can get a gardener. Not that I strictly need one, but, uh, needed for some of the tamings. I found the keep, uh, fireplace cooking pot, I should remember to build one. No recipes, however. So it's not very useful. So I got this. That's, that's a nice, big, useful thing. So I've got the iron collector. I've got a fridge that's actually got stuff in it for once. Getting, like, eggs for things. Eventually I'll be able to tame some more decent stuff. This is the meat pit. So we've got uh, Fog, who is my... Small burb. I've got hail and sleet. Sleet nearly got lost in the uh, in the forest cave when I hadn't really realised it was the forest cave until I got to the end and was like, oh. That explains why this place was so full of bullshit. But yeah, the, the cave is just dumb. And um, turns out a caprasuchus can knock you out of the saddle of a uh, out of a snow owl. So, so that's fun. You know, I thought most large amounts you couldn't be knocked out of the saddle of. 
I was wrong. So that's that's fun. Um, being yeeted across the screen and then dying hideously and losing everything I had, which fortunately was only loot items, not actually any good equipment items. However, these three here have been providing me with these snow owl pellets. Now I think I need about nine or ten to get a goncha. The thing is though, because they're a massive ball lake to acquire because of the distances, uh, someone has kindly offered to give me a lift and with that lift I intend to make the most of it and uh, potentially lend them a uh, platform saddle if I've got the engram for that or if I... Did I get the engram for that? Either way, they, they've offered to give me a lift so I'm gonna go and try and get one and then get them, ask them to bring it back for me. Probably gonna try and get a uh, opposite gender to one to the one we currently have nearby. So uh, then we can probably come to come kind of a meeting agreement. Oh ha 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 Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, so we've got uh, Get Rex, um, got Coat Rack 89, Missy, the Ankylosaur like cluster. I found this guy earlier trying to eat my T Rex, it was adorable. Uh, we have the King, the Queen, uh, Techno Femininity, and I'm tempted to rename the King of Rock and Roll, as his name is too long, to uh, Techno Masculinity, because that's an amusing term. However, he's level 19, so I might save that name for a better one. Nothing personal to do. Uh, we got some flat boys. Need to get some more flat boys. Uh, some dung beetles. Them guys. This dickhead. This dickhead tried to kill me. But I won. And I killed his friend because she attacked first and actually, like, killed me. <laughs> the weird temporary stasis when you get killed and your dinosaurs are sort of left unattended is uh, it's convenient. Yeah, these lads are surprising easy to tame. Just go over there, shoot them a few times. Quite a few times. And then uh, they're just nice, simple tame with um, prime meat. Don't have to worry about narcotics or anything. You just got to worry about yourself freezing to death because snow. Good ball. So, I'm not really sure what to be doing now. I've got all the stuff to tame a goncha. Or gotcha. The big stone gorilla dudes. Um, but I want to try and get, like, a good amount of. Well, owl nuggets, I suppose. As, uh. If something happens to it, I don't want to have to go all the way there and back again. So I want to try and take about 20 with me. So, watching these things uh, throw up for a while, I guess. Unless the chat has better ideas. Also, annoyingly, um, no nanny, no bees, uh, no demorphodons that I've found yet. So, uh, fog is sadly not going to have any imprint bonus. Nope. I'll nug it. <laughs> also, fun feature of these, uh, in case you're wondering what's weird with their face. Yep. Infrared. They also have an ability which freezes things, but I'm not sure if they need to be in contact with water to do that. The item collector does not currently pick up the owl pellets, no. Unless it classes them as one of the types of poop I have turned off. I will do a science. <laughs> I always name a Triceratops after you, Kurt Rag. It's also reassuring to know that you are not currently on fire. So.
So if 30 seconds can go past and it doesn't get picked up, it's not getting picked up. I'm hoping that uh, the S Plus mod will have an update for this, as it already does everything else. It'll already pull all the resources to, uh, like, the furnaces and stuff, so it should be compatible, but it depends what this is classed as, because this is technically fertilizer. But yeah, not picked up. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that, that large amount of California that's on fire is impressively on fire. If impressively on fire is even slightly the correct term. Those ship posting Australian memes keep uh, keep coming back up. At some point, I'll try and get a slightly higher level uh, Triceratops, but I don't really use Triceratopses. Because normally by the time I can get them conveniently, I don't need them anymore. So I get a nice one to just spend all of its days fucking the other one. Hooray! Um, so yeah, I'm trying to know what to do now. I have built a, uh, at this point I need to get the scorpion out of the barracks. Oh. That's, uh, not a good thing to happen. So with California being so big, it's hard to, uh, at least from a Euro perspective, know which bits are the bits affected. But yeah, I think Stingy just lives in here now. Like, I don't know how it got in here. Eventually just knocked through all the walls, but... Let's, let's do a science. Well, that was easier than I expected. How did you get in there? Come on. I've made a poor decision. Um. Scorpions are a problem. Well, I guess I'm going to finish eating my lunch while this flails me about.
I guess I didn't really want a barracks anyway. So yeah, current plan is as more of our tribe get back online, should they actually do that, we'll expand the barracks. By we, I'd imagine that means me. Currently got a decent sized dino enclosure. Should hopefully make, uh, you know, storage easy. But yeah, no, I have suggestions from the chat on what to do, where to vaguely go and explore perhaps, uh, dinosaurs to try and tame. I may also get completely distracted and uh, do something completely different, or have chest pain and like zone out for a while without really noticing. You know, all the normal things that people have come to not expect from my streams. As an aside, OBS has made it so much better to stream, as I'm sure you can tell with the quality. Oh, owl chunk. Hello, Nullis. As Nullis is here, I will go and check on the otter. There we go. There's Loki. Is that loud? I can't tell. No, we don't, anyway. There's Loki. Ugh, that's a rather distressing visual effect. Fuck is that? <laughs> uh, 
the altar can do about a hundred damage. I mean, if I wanted to go on a killing spree, I would just set uh, guess over there to aggressive mode. We've got fifteen owl pellets. Ah, uh, it's the uh, it's the uh, one of the skins I've got. Gives it uh, vampire eyes. I have the same. But mine are a slightly different colour. Which reminds me, I need to make more dyes. Should make myself a new suit of armour. It's more just I'm bumbling around, but I will have a go at that at some point. Where are all my paints? There they are. I should probably put my flags back up at some point. Um, so, armor. No idea how many suits of armor I've now made on this server, as I've lost so many. Either through carelessness or just the game deciding that I don't need things. However, I don't need that helmet, so that can stay in the crafting tub for a bit, as that one has the better armor class. Hideous. At some point, when I go to try and tame one of the uh, big stony fellas, my intention is to uh, take the snow owl with me so it can just, you know, crap at need. <laughs> Might as well make my everyday clothes a bit more exciting. That was fun. Well, this is a peak of excitement and activity over here, isn't it? I go and see if I can find a more active Discord chat to uh, lurk in. I'll fit out my bedroom with some stuff. I'll just, you know, make it bigger. 
Possibly even in the way that Nucker did, by literally just adding more space to the house halfway up a wall. Good hey, Kurt. Hey, Kurt Rack. Hey, how's it going? Alright, so... I, I was slightly unassured by it's like, I sent you a message, like, nearly a week ago, going, so, uh, you on fire, or...? Yeah, I, I've, I've had other people tell me their Discord messages haven't gone... Th oh, I gotta mute the stream. <laughs> I've had other people tell me their Discord messages haven't gone through recently, so... Because I know I respond to that, well, more, you know, more recently than I did. More recently than it actually went through. Maybe it's just because your internet's also on fire. Like, as a uh, state. So, so. That seems plausible. I mean, seems plausible, but I'm nowhere near any fire, so... Yeah, it might be all right. I know that, uh, at least for me, I think Manchester's my nearest uh, stable internet point. So I'd imagine if Manchester was on fire, I would be having, uh, you know, server outages. Makes sense. So, I've got a suit of armor, I've rebuilt the barracks, I've got the scorpion out of it. I should probably find a friend for the scorpion, but every time I have, uh, it's been eaten. Um, right, where is Honda? As Honda is the new boy. Oh, I'll vomit. So scorpions tend to hang out over here. Very exciting this. I'm collecting owl vomit and looking for scorpions. Ew. Yeah, it beats my day job sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've told me that. Huh. What what's going on there? Uh, those Carnotauruses that I want? Male and male. No. A female? Yeah, probably. But otherwise, no. Oh. Glad to see you also agree that homosexuality is disgusting. <laughs> uh... So if, uh, I'm going to somewhere around that point in the uh, my current watching. I think that was episode eight. I think I think it was just finished episode eight of the uh, Man in the High Castle. Ah, uh, how was it? Yeah, it's all right. It's uh. I don't think it's particularly a spoiler of anything, so I can say the bit. It's just a. Uh, one of the characters, I'm not sure if they're a protagonist or antagonist yet at this point, has uh, been caught in a raid on a lesbian bar. Hmm. Well, I believe she's one of the people who works for the uh, propaganda ministry, so that might go wet ill for her. Because, you know, being a degenerate and all is illegal in uh, the Greater Nazi Reich. What a time to be alive. Might come and harvest those benches. Yes, I'm not seeing scorpions. The defenders and the enforcers are fighting each other. Priceless. Sort of. A bit, maybe. Are those, uh, one of those tribes, or what? Nope. They are the, like, sentry robots that defend the city. They're attacking each ah. other. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I've seen the defender robots lose to some dodos before now, so... Yeah, I'll be honest, I don't know much about the latest expansion. Uh, I don't either, so... Now, do I get another Lystrosaur? Because I could get another Lystrosaur. Uh, let's see how long it takes me to find something bigger than I am. Yep, there we go. That's a couple of level Rexes that I could probably take out with Get. 
but uh, I don't know if I want to use get quite so often just for yeeting on things. I feel like get is eventually going to be uh, like taken down to um, egg farm duties after I can get a better one. Not there's anything wrong with her, it's just, you know, she's small and fragile for a T-Rex. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, short people disgust me too. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't want to meet Stasi IRL then. Short fat people really disgust me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I should get some snails. That might be useful. Person in the chat's wondering what your render distance is. I've got it all set to pretty much lowest because uh, it runs smoother that way. I could turn it up to highest. I'm pretty sure my computer will support that without too much issue. The problem is uh, streaming that gets difficult because my processor is not very good. The, the slow increase of computer components. I've, I've boosted the RAM, I've boosted the uh, the graphics, the C, not the CPU, the uh, power supply. Uh, what else is on the list? Hard drive, but not the processor. So everything is now hanging off that. As the mm. problem is, ostensibly, it's a very good processor. Dun, dun, dun. Stingy has gotten stuck. Uh, it's not overheat problems, it's just I run out of processing power. Uh, it's my main issue with it. It's it's a 4 gigahertz, but it's apparently a 4 gigahertz without much capacity, which is a strange concept, as far as I'm concerned, but... Uh, God works in mysterious ways. Like setting fire to Malibu. I saw a snail. Am I being blind? Snail. Whistle, 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 whistle. Oh, there it is. Yeah, one thing I've uh, found a great appreciation for in uh, live streams is when someone is just casually whistling in the background and you want to set them on fire. Oh, oh, okay. I have the stream muted. I assume you're talking about in game, right? No, this was uh, this was in a stream I was watching yesterday. Just uh, someone was just quietly whistling in the background at intervals, and it's just like, microphones do not respond well to whistling. <laughs> Snail one. Yeah, now I'm using OBS to stream instead of uh, XSplit. It's running a lot smoother. Yeah, but it's still that. not uh, not Findabar. Hey, it's good enough for what I want to do. You know, I can play the game without having slowdown. So fuck you all. <laughs> Maybe a it's little agreeable statement. A little laggy at intervals, but it's not like it was. Ooh, gotta be careful of that one. Yeah, the corrupted pteranodons are utterly violent. As are all the cool. corrupted creatures, but the pteranodons are the worst for it, especially when, as on my last live stream, uh four, three or four of them just spawn in on you when you're already like on the brink of death. That, that was fun. Well, my uh, scouting missions to the uh, the wastelands cut short by, you know, death. Well, that's T-Rexes. Run all you want, death always finds a way. Uh. 
I was in theory working today, but uh, they, uh, the technician or whoever it was who's going to look at they, stuff. They, not they. those they. Uh, technician to come in looking at stuff. Um, did not call ahead. Someone was fortunately in, and they have, you know, done the thing. They need to come back at some point, and it's just like, oh, well, okay. Good, good thing I didn't need to do anything then, because I've had it before where, you know, someone's come to, like, try and do some work around the houses, they've not called ahead, and have then left a note saying no one was in. It's like, well, of course no one was in. If you give me an eight-hour time slot, I'm not going to go and sit in a house. <laughs> I mean, I have some times, but I need to have something to do for eight hours, otherwise that's just like, aggressive levels of tedium. Yeah. Like, you know, I can read, like, both the books on my tablet in that time, I'm pretty sure. Jam. It's about an apocalypse. With jam in it. And then it's predecessor book, Mogworld. Mog World, a predecessor, is that come after it? Also, yeah, someone had a house here. I don't know what happened, but it's now just that crate. I may have broken in the door at one point because it let me. Uh, this is my, uh... Well, hopefully they'll be our allies at some point, but we need to do something to the game code, apparently, to allow that, and I don't know how that functions. So, yeah, they've got Stegosaurus, big stone fella, Parasaur that appears to be drunk, a couple of dodos, some owls, some uh, RGs, this fella. I was going to get a, this fella not yesterday. A, not a saying where you come from, kill all RGs. Uh, nah, it's just if they oh, uh, try and claim that the Falklands is theirs, uh, then, then we have a disagreement. However, I'd imagine that. Uh, in the current political climate, uh, if uh, Argentina invaded the Falklands, we'd probably just pay them to take it. <laughs> Which... Uh, uh. Ah, there's two snails here, nice. But yeah, until I can find honey, uh, I'm not getting any uh, snails. Because the thing I'm really tempted to do, just because I'm a lazy asshole and a server admin, spawn in a giant bee. Which is cheating. But I will have it so that there is, you know, honey for people who want honey. I won't just be like, you know, some kind of honey tyrant. Yeah, well, I'm that's the next used. popular Flash game from Japan. First there was Honey Pop, then Honey Tyrant. <laughs> I have seen Honey Pot played by several people, and I do not see the appeal in it. I no, it's my snail. My snail. So yeah, as I believe uh, one of the players is currently in the chat, what are your thoughts on having, uh, like, socialized honey? Well, McFlappy the Fourth is doing okay. Same cannot be said for McFlappy, McFlappy the Second, and McFlappy the Third. Truly tragic. The rest in pepperoni. So I only need 50 giant bee honey, and I probably more rare flowers than I have. I've not found any hives, that is not to say they are not there. Because there is, I don't believe there's a resource map up here either. My guess is they're probably in the sunken forest. Uh, so at some point I will go over there with a large collection of beds. 
and uh, throw myself repeatedly into that meat grinder. Building an aesthetic house is probably going to go well until eventually some flavour of griefer turns up and just starts, you know, breaking all my windows. <laughs> that was fun. Which point I'll break their face. Look, Antifa. Hey, hey, ho, ho. These Argentavis have got to go. I kind of feel like all this effort that gets put into, like, reeing at Trump would be much better served doing, you know... Most other things? Pretty much, yeah. Because let's think, if he's so bad and tyrannical, what is protesting going to achieve? You know, why don't you go out there and do community work rather than burning down communities? <laughs> something about your theory that makes a bit too much sense. I mean, call me old-fashioned, but I was, I was always uh, led to believe that be the change you want to see in the world, not re the change you want to see in the world. So I need more rare flowers. Right, I will have a go at spawning in some bees. Uh, if I can, I'll just do it as the resource spawn, because that seems much more convenient. Ah, and uh, Get has laid an egg. Oh, I'll be back. No worry. Yeah, the, uh, the artificial outrage is always popular. That's the thing, I've seen so much of this stuff, because, you know, I have a lot of free time, as I'm sure you're aware, and, uh... Okay, never mind, I'm back. <laughs> I have a lot of free time, so, you know, I spend time looking at Twitter, and I see... You know, I follow, apparently, loads of right-leaning people. I mean, some of them possibly are, but most of them just seem like, you know, people. But every time I see a post... Like, best example, go and look at any of President Trump's Twitter posts. And the thousands upon thousands of replies from... Killsteel! Thousands and thousands of posts from people who are just going, Oh, but what about this thing? What about this thing? And it's just like... Okay, so... Let's say, then, that you want, you know, let's use the caravan as an example. You want the ca people in the caravan to be given American citizenship, right? So, set up a charity that is going to help people give legal funding for these people so they can apply for citizenship, despite the fact that they clearly are not migrants, sorry, not uh, refugees, because uh, they were offered you know, refugee status and asylum in Mexico, and they went, no. So, despite the fact these people are already not as advertised, set up a charity, you know, raise, like, do fundraising or whatever, to get these people legal aid so they can apply. That's much more productive than screeching at your president that he should let these people in. Just, he just should do it. Because, you know, fuck the rule of law. Fuck, you know, protocol. Just, we, we say this so it should be done. Because that's the thing. What if, um, you know, Trump goes, alright, we'll do this. We'll let all these people in. And then he goes, okay, and because of that, we're going to let all these people in as well. And they'll be, you know, the bad kind of people, for want of a better word. Because what would be an unpopular group for Trump to just be like, okay, so we're going to let these people in, but also letting these people in at the same time? Ah, uh, nice example. Actually, actually asking, I would say whites, but... Yeah, I was going to say, the South African, like, Boer farmers. Ah, poor guys. You know, it's like, alright, oh, so we're going to let these people in, just, just letting them in. 
cool. So we're gonna let these people in as well. And I've seen a lot of people go, ah, oh, he shouldn't do that because, you know, why genocide not real, guys? Ignore all the like the documentary evidence. Yeah, yes, just ignore the literal yeah. white genocide. The literal genocide. But apart from that, so as so on that front then, if he were to go, okay, we'll do this, but we're doing this as well. How do you think people would react? Because that's the thing. This is a power that they've demanded he have. Well, one of the reasons they want this is because. You know, I, I mean, they've demonstrated this in their articles, you know, because they want a white minority. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. When you go, we need the power to let this group of people in without any, you know, background checks or anything. They just need to be allowed in. You go, okay, which groups can we apply this to? Because that's the thing. It's always the don't give authority power it can abuse. Yeah, yeah, that's a... because that power will that, be used that, against that, you. That, that that would be the uh, thing you would uh, think of if you had any foresight. But that's the thing they don't have foresight. They go, oh, look at all these, you know, women and children groups of mostly twenty to thirty year old like young men. <laughs> They're fleeing from a dangerous war zone. They're attacking police in Mexico. People have died as a result. No, they're just. Ah, uh, see, they're fleeing from, like, you know, like, persecution. Mexico offered them citizenship. C can you see all the uh, problems here? And you go, okay, what about people uh, who are actually filling all these things? Who are actually, like, trying to flee from, like, the situations that these people are proclaiming to have? And you get let those people in. Now what happens? <laughs> Ah, uh, it's, you know, I can guarantee if that happened, it would be, ah, uh, he's just racist, he's picking, you know, white people over brown people type arguments. Because, of course, brown people cannot help themselves. That is a thing I've actually seen some of their popular talking po talking heads say. You know, it's that whole one of, ah, oh, but if we don't let these people in, you know, who will, like, clean our yards and look after our children? And it's oh, just like, God, oh, wow, someone actually said that. Like, an actual person who is claiming to be on the side of the good and righteous, where it's just like, who's going to do our busy work? Yeah, it's just yeah, no, like, it's a, it's wow. But yeah, as, as Oki Native says, orange man bad. And bad. <laughs> so I have all the bits I need apart from the honey. So let's go on the wiki and try and find the summon code for honey. Uh, Now watch as my internet tanks itself while I'm loading this page, because for some reason this wiki is slightly heavier than the sun in terms of internet usage. Uh, do you not have adblock on? Uh, no, it's just a really heavy page for elements. Yeah, what necessarily Like, I've loads like slowly and it away. loads in layers, as opposed to yeah. as an image. Oh yeah, that kind of thing's weird. Um, I can't tell if like the ginger hair dye is actually working or if it's fading out or if it's just the lighting engine but yeah unreasonably like min maxed character I should have gone for the giant hands as well, because they're hilarious. <laughs> Dom's character that he made for Mesopotamia was completely normal proportions, apart from he had hands the size of shovels. <laughs> His reasoning was it would be better to pick berries. That is reasoning. Uh, 
Come on, page. There we go. Sorry about this, but uh, Quetzalcoatlus. That's not how you pronounce Quetzalcoatl. <laughs> Is it under probably? Resources. Now, if it's an S plus item, I would just uh, do a thing. Also, apparently, there's a glitch that if you use the demolition gun on a beehive, you also get a you get a new bee each time. So that's fun. Yeah, well, you can't mm, use according flowers. To, according to Oki, uh, Clinton was good at cleaning up our streets. Oof. First thing, if you make everything a crime, eventually everyone's in prison. <laughs> Also, if you tell people that they have no other choice in life than to be criminals, then some of those people are going to be like, huh, well, I guess that's a thing then. Um, <laughs> people. Never quite sure what to say in response to that. A bit like when Lozzie's in the call and she starts saying the things that she says. Why is Honey not on here? Am I being blind? Not seeing a giant bee, Honey. Apparently it's not a resource then. Uh... Consumables. Yep, giant bee honey. So, primal item consumable honey. C. Um. So give item Need more Gibbs. <laughs> Gibbs. <laughs> Does it give the code on how to summon it? You can use honey to tame the Leopluridon. The magical Leopluridon. So. I don't think it needs the hyphen bits to actually do the summon code. Only one way to find out. So, Except there's actually a few ways you could find out. So one is give blueprint, the other is z is not give blueprint. Well, one is give blueprint, zero is not give blueprint. Um, 
So it would be admin cheat give item this is going to go well uh, there it is, that's the code for it right then let's find somewhere I can stand so that's the code So that's a zero. Quantity is going to be 50. Item stack size one. I think this is how it works. And then the item code give item now is that it? Let's see if that's it. Let's see if that's it and do it properly this time. Okay, so give item number. Um, okay, let's try this one then. Yeah, that'd be good if it just gave you the code. Like, complete, so you could just copy and paste it. Hmm. Um. Doesn't seem like a challenge. Yeah, but if you're using, like, console commands to spawn items, surely that's not meant to be a challenge. <laughs> Well, I mean, you're already, you know, dodging the main challenge, so you might as well have to... Well, it's mainly because I have no idea if giant bees even spawn on this map. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not like, saying you in particular. I'm saying just, like, you know, the, the concept of using a... Uh, commands. <laughs> ah, yes, that, that famous doxing site, Google. Hello to you too, Dylan Tilbrook. Um. So admin sheet give item. So let's let's unpack this this knapsack of bullshit then. Blueprint pack is all of that bollocks ruler of stars gave a nice roman salute in the chat oh, have they seen kyle uh, i don't know been missing for quite a while <laughs> Because uh, I, I tend to play as Whammon in video games because it's generally a better character model. All right, so go quantity 50 quality 
one. Not a blueprint. I suspect it didn't work. <laughs> no. So, let's try this again. That's the blueprint path. So, G, F, I is the code I'm currently seeing. All of that stuff. Quality 50, quality 1, 0. Alright then. It's, gonna, it's one of those things where it's going to be quicker to go and get the honey. Right, I'm sure this is very exciting for everybody. Uh, now it's not an item though, is it? It's a resource. <laughs> that might change things. Summon. Eventually, I'll find a way of spawning items in that actually works. So I'm just going to Google that to that, to that effect. Spawning resources in Ark. Okay, let's look on the Dodo decks. <laughs> because the Gamerpedia is currently eating a large amount of dick. How inconvenient. Huh, apparently, Dodo decks has merch available. <laughs> so it's consumables. So, wow, okay, the Dodo Dex is vastly superior, as I literally go on and it will pre-write the code for me. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, let's see if it works. The moment of truth. Purchase. I might have to go and commit some seppuku in a bit. So yeah, Gamepedia can now eat dick, because not only is the Dodo deck site faster, it actually gives you what you want to hear. So everyone, use Dodo decks, because, because why not? I feel like I've missed something. Perhaps you have. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm currently talking with Coat Rack. I keep forgetting the Discord overlay is not apparently visible. Uh, yeah, I will uh, have socialized honey available shortly. I, I put the cut of the Soviet anthem on, but uh, I don't have a bot on this channel. It was starting to play in my head. <laughs> Once you said that. I could just play it from my computer, but... Uh... 
That might be a little on the nose. So yeah, um... Oh, owl nugget. So when I have 50 honey, I can, uh... Well, when I have enough honey for my own purposes, I will unlock the hive for other people to use. So yeah, I, I have no intentions of using the, uh, the cheat options in the game for anything, you know, substantial. But the ability to, uh, fix things at intervals is... Useful. The only question remaining is was anything broken in the first place? Uh, this is the third edition of this house. I tried to uh, rebuild it in the past and did not succeed. Still need more rod meat, damn. I don't want to take all the rod meat though, because if I can, my scorpion will be hungry. Just five rotted meat. You can feed this small scorpion for a whole day. Look into Truly the eyes inspiring. and tell us that you would not give rotted meat to this hell pit abomination made of claws and teeth. <laughs> Occasionally I hear doors opening behind me and it's really unsettling. It's like, but but I'm the only one here. Hmm. At some point, I will need to get a windmill. Uh, uh, coat rack is from the. Uh, um, I want to say that place that's not on fire, but near that place that's on fire. I think that's a sufficiently non-doxing description of your location. I live in the Mojave. I imagine it's quite hard to set a desert on fire. Yeah, yeah, it's it's. Turn it into glass, it's, however, much easier. Yeah, I was thinking earlier about how it's uh, interesting that uh, this is, on for you know, in a very rare moment, not the heart, the hottest place in California. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised more people haven't jumped on. It's uh. I've shared the link out to various places. I've got five people watching, which is normally unheard of. Uh, I've got lots of Discord notifications. I should look at those. Uh, not sure. What's Dom been posting? Probably artwork. Something in the general chat. It is Pikachu Monster Dong. Okay. <laughs> what what a time to be alive. Oh yeah, uh, sorry if I'm stretching, you hear hideous crunching sounds from my, through my microphone. It's just my body falling apart. Cool. It's a good feeling. It feels like burning. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the OK hand has once more overtaken the, uh, Dr. Lehman 100% face as my most used, uh, reaction emoji. Yeah, should anyone want to jump in the chat? There's a link, uh, or at least there should be a link in the uh, description of the video. If it doesn't work, I can put a new one in. Yep, he is, he is American because well, he sounds American, because he is. One of those dirty, underhanded tricks the colon colonists have. <laughs> Sounding American. The bastards. 
So, uh, I've got honey now because I found a code generator that works. Uh, I could have a fly around. Mojave is. Um, if, you, have you, have you, if you've ever played uh, Fallout New Vegas, well, anyway, Vegas is in it. <laughs> yep, Vegas is in the Nevada side, though, isn't it? That is correct, but it's the same desert. Yeah. The desert just cuts off at the border. Indeed. So, female raptor. I'm not going to go and hassle it, despite the fact that it's stuck in a box, because it will kill me, and then I'll be embarrassed. Dying can be an unfortunate thing on occasion. So, this pack of raptors any good? I don't think they were. <laughs> yeah, they're not any good. <laughs> the deer has evaded them. <laughs> okay. There's a dippy. If I can get enough uh, Lystrosaur eggs, I could try and tame a dippy. And not do my normal thing of killing them on sight. Because deaf to the dippies. Brontosaurus is more of a grey area, but it definitely deaf to the dippies. Oh, yeah, there's a uh, Gator respawned. Considering there's presumably a uh, food box somewhere in this compound. Hey, stony fella. It's a decent one as well. So we've got Sir Flapworthy and Argentavis. Hoot. And, uh,. Mrs. Hoot. <laughs> um, what was I thinking that was a thing? Other than my elbow is apparently in vast amounts of pain for no apparent reason. Um, so yeah, I should probably try and get an RG because until I can find that Quetzal again, I'm going to need something to do the heavy lifting. Realize you took slaves in the in the Falklands War. Did I? Didn't sound like something we'd do. Prisoners of war, probably. But uh... well, you said you're gonna have to get some RG to do the heavy lifting for you. Nah, uh, not that kind of RGs. But, uh... Oh yeah, Stegosaurus is made of prime. That's useful. Whoa. What the? <laughs> Suddenly. That's me. Parasol falls from the sky, followed by drones. I'm surprised the defender drones don't drop anything. Eh, level 60. It's not as good as one I got yesterday. Wow, that's a legit salmon. That's right, you swim onto the ground. If you're wonky pathfinding. Uh, you set up a trap, Western of the Safe Is this for the Argies? 
as uh, my intention for collecting RG is to build the uh, type of trap that I was talking about yesterday. Basically, it's the same as the trap you built for the snow owls, but one end of it is just a like a big window, so you can fly a pteranodon through and try and get it stuck. Or rather, not get the pteranodon stuck. Oh, there's a there's a person here. Hmm. All right. Who? Come on, guys. Don't like kick someone out their house and then throw them in the ravine. It's just rude. I can't fly too low here because the Capri Suns will yeet me from my my mount. If I can get some, oh, horrifying. If I can get some Oviraptor kibble, I can try and tame a Megalosaur. Now my suspicion is that the um, element vein must be somewhere around here because this is almost underneath my house. And my house got yeeted twice. Oh, there is a crate. What does this crate say? Nothing! It says nothing at all. Yay! I learned so much information from that small picture. Oh, there's Megalania. I will have to try and tame some of these at some point, but uh, for now this place is just filled with bullshit and sadness. Mm. Tragic. Yeah, more inconvenient. Ah, you can... F I did not know the owls were technically smaller. I'll have to try that. I was under the impression that owls are the size of the RG and you cannot just fly them through a window. That's a nuisance. Because I know, um. That wouldn't affect how I build my Wyvern traps, but that's because uh, my last Wyvern trap was a large cathedral like building. Where one of the big windows in it was, uh. Ah, fuck. Land. Well, I guess I'm going to play the pecking game for a while. This map is Earth. It doesn't really say where. By the general landscape, I would say Australia. <laughs> Well, you're kind of captives when you're sent there. Or at least experiments, test subjects. Come on, let me eat you. The owl has no real defensive capacity, which is annoying. Hmm. Also, they're not very fast compared to uh, some of the other. To my knowledge, as well, they can't pick anything up. I'm being pursued. Oh yeah, fun fact, when you're gliding, and if you're towing a pteranodon, if the pteranodon hits the glider, the glider stops gliding. Hmm. So, 
multiple times while trying to fly out of the cave yesterday, I'd be going down some of the slopes and proceed to just get, you know, yeeted into the floor. Hmm. That, that was inconvenient. Uh, that's... Okay, game. <laughs> Not seen that Tyranodon rock up yet. Yeah, I know I know it can swoop, but uh I see it, it's not ability to lift means I do need to get an RG. For that, uh I've seen a few RGs around, and I'm trying to remember what you need to tame. I think it's Stegosaurus Kibble that they prefer. But I'm trying to slowly build up that tree. Considered committing less crime in a uh, past life. Australia. Yeah, I really should go and find some sheep, shouldn't I? I'll have to try and contact Aiden Paladin. She'll know where they are. Her Welsh sense is tingling. But to get a sheep home, I'm going to need something that can lift, which means I do need an RG. <sighs> so, I know vaguely where the RGs are. Compies in a convenient heap. I don't get some of their like herd mentality things. Like this one has a one, but those two have freeze. Oh, excuse me. Uh, so I know where I've seen RGs. I should go and look for RGs. However, I could start by just going and killing a sheep. Because I need a sap tap before I can tame them. And that means I need to have made a sap tap and started gathering the stuff. They'll take her on a nice trip to the snow biome, as I'm assuming that's where the sheep live. It seems more logical than anywhere else. This is when they're in the desert. <laughs> Is that Gigantosaurus still around? Ah, don't worry about bringing me mutton. I need to find my own. So. I prefer to go and find sheep, but uh, in this occasion. Mutton is going to be uh, something to show people that I'm doing, rather than just trundling around like my house. As the intention of being entertainment is there, at least. Uh, and it helps if that works. Oh, that's a lot of slowdown. It's like this force field is heavy for the game engine. There we go. Probably should pause the playback of the stream just to optimize my run time, but normally it's crashed by now, and it hasn't in an hour and a half, so yeah. There's one of the weird sky lizard things.
Yay, skeleton. I'm on an island, but not just any island. This is Clarkson Island, the island with the highest number of Clarksons in the world. I can't really complain at being compared to James May. He is, for the most part, a vaguely sound individual. I think the only major disagreement, and it's only particularly minor with his side of it, is with the whole uh, Brexit thing, where they're going without uh, the free movement of people, we wouldn't be able to make uh, the television we do quite so easily. Which when you go, okay, well, that's... It's not enough, really, is it? Ah, that used to be a puppy. Tasty, tasty puppies. Hey. Ow. <laughs> I don't think you'd make a very good engineer, but... Uh, He can be a little boring to some people. I I, I wouldn't know about that, of course. Uh, I'm very exciting. Mm, definitely. <laughs> That's why I'm currently hunting for sheep from the back of an owl. If there's anything that isn't, uh, just boring. Well, XP boost is gone. <laughs> No sign of sheep yet. No, Ragnarok had loads of sheep. Part of me feels that uh, Mr. May does not have enough uh, flair to uh, do engineering particularly. I mean, well, you saw his... Uh, uh, to be fair, I don't know how much of it's uh, script and how much of it is uh, intended, but their um, aquatic car challenges on old Top Gear. Well, new old Top Gear. Old new Top Gear? I don't know. Uh, where he just made the same thing twice. Hmm. Uh, a lot of wolves. Well, that, that's a thing I had not expected to hear, but, uh, hmm. Hmm. So we've got the shortoid, the talloid, and the sort of mediumoid. Yeah. At least in terms of... I, I cannot say I'm a talloid in comparison to Omegon, as I believe he is, like, three to six inches taller than me. So, despite me being not unreasonably tall, it's like when I met Oscar, and it was like, ah, he's six <laughs> foot eight. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a tall five. dude. He's Swedish. It's mm -hmm. the Scandinavian in him. People who are tall and like to eat fish. I'll never understand it myself. Imagine eating fish. What a silly culture. Especially the, uh, fix the seeming, like, lit will to eat fish that is intentionally rotted. Apparently, within uh, most corporate buildings, it is illegal to open a can of it because the smell does not leave. It must be opened uh, can, underwater. Uh, 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 wait, a can of what? Uh, I think it's a stromig or whatever it is, the the rotted fish stuff. Oh. You you would not, or if you do open the can of it, you can be sued for the cost of like having to like deep clean an entire building. Because the smell is that bad, which is why people who actually eat it uh, open the cans underwater. Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> 
because then the smell does not get into the air. Water. Apparently. Oh yeah, this is the fun optical illusion. <laughs> yep, yeah, no sheep, but I might uh, grab some prime. And one of my slightly angrier pigeons. The good news is, with all these artificial biomes, it's not that cold anywhere. I nearly fell off a cliff. Well done. You know, the desert, like, the city is not very hot. This, the desert is not very hot. The underground is not very hot. The desert is, the, yeah, the snow biome is not very cold. Oh, look, there's, there's the rape pigeons. Let's hope they don't see us. No, there is, uh, I believe it's rotted herring is the uh, apparent delicacy in Scandinavia. I'm not a charming man on Nooker's Drunk Stream where they played Never Have I Ever for two hours and it got progressively more autistic on his part. It's like humble bragging by someone who doesn't understand how humble bragging works. And then it's meant to be you say good things that can relate to yourself, not weird things. I need to get a sniper rifle. But so far I have found one place that gives blueprints and to get there and back is basically a death sentence for you and your mount. It's good. So I know where I've seen some RGs. Let's add the crap to the crap locker. That is twenty one. Ooh, that should be enough to last for taming at least one, hopefully two. I'm going to need more prime. Hmm. I might take the Rex with me. That's probably the easiest way of doing this. Uh, let's grab some narcotic. 100 should be enough. Split into stacks of 50 because the angry pigeons that come assault, assault me get uh, rather grabby. Right, so now I'm sure someone's going to say, why didn't you make the gates at each end of your house bigger so you can, you know, leave conveniently? The important thing to remember is I'm really lazy. Well, we have six honey so far. Have another hive in no time. Uh, so I know where I can find Argentavis. I know where I can find tasty, tasty meat on the way. Just need to combine these two things. Now I should. Now the intellectual would have brought a raptor as a mount and towed the T-Rex. Because tow that doesn't have that much energy. I don't think it's so much that the Vikings got pussy, it's that the Vikings took pussy. <laughs> it's one of those little differences. Like the, uh... What's that? Is that an Oviraptor? Level 15 male. Yeah. Boring.
Right. Now that my other disadvantage is, I can run faster than a T-Rex. Which is an engineered problem, because I wanted to be able to outrun T-Rexes. <laughs> So far, at least, oops, has been a good thing. And hopefully, I can get another scorpion at some point soon. And uh, get um, enough scorpion eggs to get a good quality T Rex, as uh, Prime is useful but only gets you so far. Boring. Now watch as my T-Rex will find a way to just disappear in the near future. Like falling off a cliff or something. Sorry, repeat that? Uh, I'm waiting for my T-Rex to just like f jump off a cliff or something or get attacked and like run away. Uh, yeah. Seems like the kind of thing it would do. Yeah. Keep restored to auto shut down for a moment. Huh. Uh, is this a cliff? That's a cliff. I normally traverse this area by uh, flying. I think it's more that it's illegal to do that. Not that you can't do that. There is technically nothing stopping you other than, you know, your, like, moral conscience and law enforcement agencies and people with big sticks. Personally, for me, it's the moral aspect, also the finding, you know, finding anyone who I would to do anything like that with, I think it would require more of a uh, mutual aspect. Whereas it's, you know, kind of empty. <laughs> Not quite sure where that conversation is going, but uh, yeah, don't don't rape people. That's that's the message I think. Here. Just just not going to go well for anybody. Nice PSA. Stop it. Get some help. Really freaked me out the first time I stood on one of these because I didn't know if it was a force field or not. I was like, am I, am I going to fall to my death? And one of them was missing and I did. <laughs> Yeah, some of those bits of this map are really nice, but they don't do anything. Just remember, it's no fun if there's a safe word. <laughs> Concern. That's not a micro raptor. Is that a micro raptor though? Is that a? No, it's an archaeopteryx. Kind of want some micro raptors. They make an entertainingly violent shoulder pets. <laughs> yes. They're vicious. Everything is a fetish, that doesn't mean it should be. <laughs> the text to pop in is getting worse in some places.
Gotta be there soon. Take the piss. Chris has joined. Yeah, for context of the stream, I'm in my own Discord server, not the Arc Service Discord server, which is potentially an issue if anyone wanted to talk to me directly, but uh, the links for both should be in the description. And if they don't work, then tell me and I'll refresh them. I'll put in permalinks. Now, is that a XP terminal? Nope, that's a street lamp. Oh yeah, first time I went exploring on a Tyranodon properly, I died just there on that corner, having fallen from all the way up there. <laughs> you know how sometimes with Tyranodons, they'll push you off one side, sometimes the other? It was the other. All right then. Matters is if you stick play. Can't believe this dickhead's picking on an Anki like this. Now hopefully the Anki's going to be a, a responsible person and not attack me for that. Ah, you dickhead. Thanks I get for saving it and then chomping on it a couple of times by mistake. Now this is where I got my Doedicarus. Now part of me goes, I possibly should have brought a Tyranodon with me in case I need to go and get anything. Whoops. Well, there's a Stegosaurus and there's a Carnotaurus, so that'll get me some Prime. I just need to go and hunt. Because I know how I got the Snow Owls in the end was to take my very buff um, the Pteranodon and use it as bait. <laughs> Didn't feel good about it, but it worked. Sure you appreciated it? Yeah, it got fed Prime afterwards from everything that was spare. So I don't think it complained. Okay, the kind of bait that doesn't need him. Oh, you know, he got a bit hurt, but he didn't, you know, die. And as a result, we got an owl. And then a second owl, because Flap McFlappy the third was a good burb. And then, uh... And then I found the, uh, the forest cave, and then the bad things happened. <laughs> That's when everything uh, went downhill. Yeah, it has coined out of it. Um, there's just less people here. You know, people are busy and whatever. Or have decided that watching this all day is not a good use of their time. Now, I could do with a female, female Carnotaurus. What level is this one? 95. You seem a little violent. My Rex could probably have tanked that, but I want to have a good successor to Ho Chi Minh. Now the question should have been, whereabouts was that Argentavis trap? I think that's an Argentavis, so that might do it. I'm planning out to build some proper taming boxes. So we should have the resources to do it. It's not strenuous particularly, it's just 
big ramp, big box, and uh, a nice big door to let them out of afterwards. That's level 75, Mayor Large and Tavis. That'll do. I mean, if it's nearby, that's all good. I can have a look for it. I was just going to try my luck at just knocking it over. Also, I have not made a new GPS yet. Now, have I made poor decisions? Damn it, compies. It's not the time or the place. way of doing this, however. Ow. That is not the best way of doing this. Here, I may have to just do it this way. It seems strange that you can't fire from the saddle of a T-Rex. Also, the hit detection today is fucking appalling. It's going well. At least three darts that have not hit. <laughs> Reload the gun, maybe? Why are you not in VC? Uh, I am in VC in my own server, Mega Saber. So it would be more convenient. Did that just take a. Ah, it's you. Okay. I was gonna say, I've never seen them do that before. Also, why must you pick on the Ankies? They were good boys. They didn't do nothing. Didn't do nothing. They was good boys. Grab him right in the pussy. Preaching man. <laughs> oh. If I shoot you, it was not on purpose. <laughs> Got another hit or not? And now to play the waiting game. Yeah, I'm, 
I don't think I'm ever going to try and understand how the hit detection is meant to work in this game. Like, times you can get a, a get a shot at a few hundred meters with no drop. Other times you can't hit at point blank. Hmm. Also, as I don't believe there's any particular ocean life on this uh, map, I cannot use the super trank turret. Oh, it's going into land. to try and guard this thing without accidentally eating it. <sighs> Are you in my Discord server? Mega Saver? I don't remember. You should be. I'm pretty sure you can hear me, if I think you're still watching the stream. Um, Alright then. Um, <laughs> would you be okay with helping us collect a um, big stone man dude? If I can get one. Ideally, I should have enough resources to get a pair. But you don't really need a pair of those. Some historical research to uh, name this correctly. I think Belgrano might be a bit on the nose as the name for an Argentavis. Perhaps. Oh, it's eating. It is ah uh, nine nine point five percent. So that's eleven kibble. Not the end of the world. Also, considering I came out to go taming, I probably should have worn my armor. Uh, voice chat is voice chat. So much metal out here. Which RG did they bring? Ah, so fl for Flapworthy. <laughs> yeah, I say I'm th I explored quite a bit of the map yesterday. I need to explore more of the wasteland to the north and south east, but uh No, the north and the southwest. The southeast as well, but that's more the desert. 
let's invite mega saver Else I should be inviting while I'm at it. Let's invite Dom. Probably ice as well. <laughs> All of them are sneakily. Wait, what? <laughs> the hey, am I already in the voice chat? Oh, hold on. Uh, I apparently linked it to the voice chat, not to a uh, text chat. My bad. Greetings. Oh, hey. Uh, what's up? Uh, just doing some live streaming, some exciting like that. Uh, cool. I'm because... just not going into the second half of my day in college. Oh, that sounds good. I saw uh, your artwork you did yesterday. Well, the art you posted yesterday it was looking good. So I think the only thing is, that crease around the knee looks like it needs a second crease, or her yeah. leg's trying to escape. Yeah, no. But otherwise, uh, it's really good. It's just. Yeah. The weird yeah, unattached knee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm going to be working on it later. But I'm fucking. Uh, I'm just uh, watching some stupid videos and I'm going to head off to the gym because I haven't gone to the gym in like fucking four weeks because I'm a lazy piece of shit. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds like me and work. Yeah. Haha. Uh, Except when. Except you have, like, valid excuses. Uh, Valid-ish. There's a female doughy here. Oh, it's such a long walk home. Do I just kill myself and fly back for Pteranodon? I could do that. <laughs> so, I'm guessing you're streaming art. Yep. Trying to decide if I should try and commit lifeant. And then fly back with stuff to tame a doughy because having enough a doughy would be helpful. Uh, you've been invited, Mega Saber. At least, as of right now, I had posted the link a while ago, but presumably people didn't take it up, or didn't see it, or I didn't send it right. Is that an otter? Oh, where do you get the otter? That's a fuzzy boy. Okay, there are otters on this map, Nullus must be told. Uh. Right, I reckon I, sh I can probably just dump all my equipment and commit life and... question is, what do I get to eat me? I really need to get these guys to pay me for this commission. I think they said it was uh, they're alright with giving me like 50 quid for it. And they'll have it done by the end of the week for them. And then I have to figure out how the fuck PayPal works. Geronimo! Ah, uh, I need to put new uh, things on. <laughs> cool. You killed yourself. Hooray! Yeah. I was thinking if I got them to actively kill me, I'd have had a much longer respawn time. So. Uh, Mega Saber would like you to know. Tell Dom if they don't pay you, or it isn't a commission at that point. 
Yeah. Yeah, I was kind of thinking when you said that that I, I was I was kind of under the impression a commission meant you're getting paid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. No, obviously I won't give it to them until they pay me. But, but I'm just gonna text them over a rough picture of what it looks like now. Nothing that can. I'm not gonna give them anything that could possibly be used for an album cover until they pay me. <laughs> Depends what kind of uh, genre they're into, but I'd imagine writing something like the word "ball bag" across the uh, across the middle of the drawing might not necessarily help. Come on, where's the? There we go. Uh, so. Edit invite link expires. Never generate new link. Copy it. Uh, that should have updated the descript the link in the description. You should now be able to. Join the Discord. Although I did give you a direct invite, Mega Saber. Oh, I'll vomit. Now I should get an Argentavis saddle made. Because hopefully my RG is still taming itself. Duh. Oh, an Argentavis is a backpack craft? Alright. So I just sent them a work in progress picture of it so far and asked them if they wanted anything changed. Oh. Greetings all! Hello. Hello. Oh yeah, talking of the Republic Dom, apparently, oh, from things I've what? seen but not substantiated, the current Brexit plan is Northern Ireland is ceded to Southern Ireland. Have fun with that. It will be ruled from Dublin. Yeah. I have a Ooh. picture for this. I have a picture for this. <laughs> Did you enjoy the bomb? Better than being ruled from Brussels, to be honest, but still. Uh. Ireland will uh, be I think the Northern Irish might uh, take exception to this. Uh, a part of Northern Ireland will take yeah. exception to Some parts will be overjoyed, other parts will be uh, cracking open the fertilizer. On one say, Dab on the Protestants. Dab! One might, <laughs> one might say they may have an explosive response. What is this exact image that I'm looking for? Wait, no, that's not not the one with the nuclear bomb in the background. <laughs> I can see, I can see Dom's situation with his commission. Uh, I can see it going down like this. You're not, you're not getting this until I, until I get. You're not getting this commission until I get paid. Well, I mean, could we, could you at least take a picture of it and send it to me so I know it's good? Yeah, sure. Click send his image. Thanks. Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, you. I'm oh, not that stupid. I took a like a, ter <laughs> a terrible angle with like a load of shit around it, and it's <laughs> super like messy, but it's work in progress. Not an image. Where is that image that I'm looking for? So I know I've seen uh, go, one go on her, the... go to Google and look under car bomb. No, uh, no, it's uh, I found he, it. he doesn't need to go to Google for that. I know I've seen one picture of someone going, I don't get why I've had no sales, like, no offers on this. It's a really good deal. And then the picture just has, like, the outline of a uh, fairly sizable erect penis overlaid over it. It's just like, what do you mean by this? It's like that one of uh, TV, uh, free to anyone who can come and pick it up. Nothing wrong with it except my housemates decided that while I was on holiday, they'd leave it paused on uh, 
a video which I believe was called Massive Dongs. If you want to see, uh, so as long as you don't mind having the constant like ghost of a skinny white guy taking a load in the face, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Screen so burn. Crazy. Screen burn for days. Screen burn? Yeah. I've never heard of screen burn before. Uh, some types leave... of monitors, if you leave them on with a single image, uh, it burns into the screen. Uh -huh. Single, single non-moving image. Screen savers don't really... That's why screen savers are a good thing, because it makes it to where the images are constantly moving so it doesn't do a screen burn on it. But if you were to just have, like, a, a picture up just some random picture up on your monitor for say three or four days straight it'll the, then there'll be like an after image forever on your monitor which to be fair I've seen people do interesting art doing that shit yeah but that sounds fucking expensive as shit oh, oh yeah because how much ba penis you want to see <laughs> yeah. now where's the stony fella oh. That reminds, uh, that reminds me, uh, Scott, I think you were the one who named one of the cities in my Pathfinder game. Or one of the towns, because you named it Venus, I believe. Uh, no, that wasn't me. I would I named it Scunfort. That was my okay, choice. Okay, yeah. Yours Someone else named it Venus. I think that I've been a Nullis. I want to let him know that I've upgraded Venus from a town, uh, from a village to a town. This gives the Venus the big Venus. <laughs> These guys can take a really large amount of shots to the face. Okay. Much like that skinny white guy. <laughs> So how goes life on the server, Skog? Has your house been removed again? Oh, uh, my house has stayed there. It's been nice. I've woken up twice now in the same place. That's I've managed to get nice. the scorpion out of the barracks. Uh, tamed or untamed? Oh, it's tamed. It's called it's called Stingy. I need to get out a friend called Snippy. <laughs> there we go. You're turning away now. Come on. Fall unconscious. Just because your face looks like a poppy field doesn't mean you should still be running like this. Why are you running? Really? Really? Okay, I shot a rock that time. Took less shots to take out the Argentavis. Uh there we go. What's the update on Viper Skog? Uh her GoFundMe is going quite well. Uh good. I know that she's having some secondary effects from obviously the uh them going, huh, you owe all this money. Also we've decided we're probably gonna cut off your housing benefit. Because, you know, when the government decides to fuck you, they don't use lube. <laughs> yeah. That would be too expensive. <laughs> no, no, they just charge you for it. Like, uh, wait, as the result of their clerical error, she has been fined £50 pounds as well. Huh? Wow. Yeah. Hey, Scott, can you, uh, can you read that green text? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Give me a moment. Just let me check the GoFundMe. Which is again linked in the description, as is her Twitter. Should you want to just take or go for commissions? She is a rather skilled artist. I think Dom should be linked in the description as well. If not, I can get his Twitter. Oh, here we go. This is what I was also looking for. Okay, she's up to uh, 1445. Nice. She's had quite a few donations in the last few days. Most people are giving like 5 to 20 quid sort of things. Because that's, oh, no. that's the usual thing. If a load of people can give a tiny bit each. But there have been a few people who've given like 100 or like 200 in some cases. Stew. That's good. 
Yep, the whole she's offering art commissions in exchange for, you know, cash is what is, I believe, considered capitalism. Is there a link to this stream? Uh, yeah, it should be in my general chat. Uh, That's a chat load. Um, is Viper still going to charge people for calling her cute now? Uh, potentially. I know she has an option on her Patreon that if you pay her a certain amount, she will read a thing and record it for you. So in theory, you could pay her to say that she's cute. Uh, so this green text that Dom has asked me to read. Let's let's see where this goes. Be me four years ago. Successful, friendly, good with people. Out of the bar with some friends. Girl comes over and hits on me. Buy her a drink. She asks for a second of a different kind too. Tell the bar intended to do it. Girl takes the drink and says, "K, thanks, bye." Walks over her to her boyfriend and kisses him while flipping me off. I look at the bar sender and she shakes her head. Get idea. Asked for two drinks, she ordered on a different bill. Bartender agrees. Prints off the bill. Walk over and hand the girl the bill for her drinks. Girl laughs at me. Walk over to the bouncer and tell him the situation. Bouncer gets the thousand yard stare. I can only assume he was remembering a love long lost with a heart of gold, now shattered. Bitch and her boyfriend try to leave. Bartender taps me on the shoulder to show me. Bouncer stands in front of them. You, you will go f pay for your drinks now. Boyfriend tries to get in his face. Bouncer calmly pushes him out of the bar. Stares at girl. Stares at girl. Girl starts crying. Stares at girl. Stares at girl. Girl pulls a $20 pill out of her bra and hands it to the bouncer. Screams, here you go, asshole. Runs out. Bouncer hands me the 20 and says, keep the change. Uh, he knuckle touches the bartender. I thank him. Find out he likes camping. We camp together now with my fiancé and his wife. It was the last time I bought a drink for a girl in a bar. Fucking bitches. I fucking busted my whole laugh at that earlier. Ah, <laughs> uh, some of the green texts are good. Oh, raptors. Shit. I meant to be checking on this doe decorous. So let's check that first. I didn't get distracted reading green texts. Nope. <laughs> you have no evidence of that, other than this YouTube video, which Skog will be too lazy to edit. Hey, I don't edit things. I, I've, I've recorded stuff to time-lapse, and you know what I've done? Not time-lapsed it. <laughs> I don't think anybody, like, everyone in our, every single person who fucking streams, Lazi, Stu, Mud, every last one of them. Like, oh, we'll edit it. We'll edit it. We'll edit this out. I never no say I'll edit ever, it. No one has ever done like a half second worth of editing on any of these fucking videos. Uh, oh, well, I've done Lassie, bits Lassie, by proxy. <laughs> Maybe when YouTube's like, hey, uh, mute this so we're taking your video down. <laughs> well, Lazi's edited. When Lassie's people have played music in the background. Anything out. Oh. Lazi's never edited anything out. She like she's put pictures up before, but she's never edited anything out. Oh yeah, I went for the glowing blue eyes this time. So the RG's nearly tame. Uh, I need to do a quick Google search to decide what to name it. I, I noticed this fucking weird ass thing on YouTube now. You know when you go into full screen on YouTube, you can just scroll down and it just. Oh yeah, I saw it says that. I haven't done that, but yeah, it says like it, scroll down for more info or something. Yeah, but it's just all the suggested videos and all the stuff. It's just, you know, you don't have to go and press the button. Just scroll down. Good fucking UI decision, YouTube. Continue doing good things, you fucks. <laughs> well, they've been uh, censoring more. Oh. I, I, I said good. Oh, yeah. Have happening. you seen their thing on Twitter? of them no. going, it is very likely that they will just pull YouTube from Europe. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, um, because as it stands right now, England is still, the UK is still part of the EU. They have to treat it as if it's, uh, as if Article 13 and everything applies to the channel. So unless you can prove, unless you can prove you own 
everything on your video, they will pull it down. That is the biggest game. So, that annexation to the United States seems better and better every day, doesn't it, boy? <laughs> Welcome, my fellow Americans. <laughs> exactly. Honestly, I think I think if Trump showed if Trump showed up right now and was like, "Look, uh, we offer your people the chance to be a part of the U.S. You can vote on it if you want." I think we I I think uh, UK would be hard pressed. I'm not saying we'd win. There, there is a, saying, there is a process for. Li I mean, literally any nation on Earth could apply to become a state. It's, it's... Well, I, I, I more than likely the UK would put it up to a referendum again and i'm not saying that it would win i'm not saying it would win i am saying they would be very surprised by the results though wow there's this many people who think we're doing that shitty of a job but but trump is doing a much more horrible job yeah but america oh sorry my uh, screen just, or my computer started to show off because i've actually been touching it uh, what was the last sentence uh, i said uh uh, but Trump's been doing a much more horrible job. Uh, that may or may not be true, but America. Yes. Because no matter how bad of a job our presidents may or may not do, the basic foundation, the Bill of Rights, is still <laughs> fucking phenomenal. Okay, this this makes me very angry. Oh. Is... Yeah, I retweeted it, and... Uh... Is the biggest so, so you're saying you're pretty much going to turn off my TV? Mm. Cool. Well, Boy, but, my, but Dom, where's your YouTube well, license? <laughs> I was going to say, but do you have Dom, a license for that, though? I Dom, love when I got the opportunity to go for this. This was great. That, I love I loved using democracy. Oh, wait, never mind. Hey, it's good how we got to. Hey, us being able to vote on things is like negative to our democracy got, or got something. Nice. Uh, but, but but Dom. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck they can't. It. They can't. They can't shut off your TV. You pay a TV license fee. I don't have a TV. Oh well, then you're gonna have to. I have a projector and a computer that I used to watch YouTube on. Mm, you're gonna have to start paying that tax then. Mm. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna so, go to the gym because this is making me angry, and also I'll come back later on and ask you about VBS. Uh, well, don't, don't worry. Fun. Once we annex you, you you'll actually have representation uh, before you're taxed. So we have the bell crown. Uh, fucking unless, unless you're living Honestly, I'll, I'll leave. Unless I'll leave you with this. World War Three is going to be fought over memes. <laughs> Probably in Why? France again. Yeah. <laughs> France and Germany, we're yeah, teaming up to make an army. You, um, France? France, France you know what happens when Germany does this. Uh, I think Trump even, like, said something about... Uh, uh, well, I'm gonna have to find it just to be sure. Uh, I'll go look oh, yeah, for he, it. I, I read what you're talking about. I read what you're talking about, Coat Rack. The whole, the whole thing. Uh, you know, this didn't do go too well last time Germany started uh, building an army. Uh, to me see. an army worthy of Mordor. But yeah, Coat Rock, you have representation okay. unless you happen to live in Brower County, at which point, you know. Well, then it's random who <laughs> represents you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm a dad. I'm the gym. The grave. I'll you See you later, Dom. Um, <laughs> have fun in the gym. Um, Emmanuel Mac Macron suggests building its own army to protect Europe against the US, China, and Russia. But it was Germany in World Wars One and Two. How did that work out for France? <laughs> they were starting to learn German in Paris before the U.S. came along. Paid, pay for NATO or not? <laughs> yeah. Um, and then there's this thing about wine and. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, America makes good wine too, but. Oh, and then uh, Macron's but... uh, abysmal approval <laughs> and unemployment, and yeah. then make France great again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, you dab on the French, so you dab them on them really fucking hard. People watching this show, you can say what you want about my president, I don't mind, but you know what? Uh, it gives me great joy oh to God. see that man dabbing on your asses every fucking from, from, day. From the game, Chax, oh, I don't know if oh you can God, read there, it, so it says, so one does not simply get a have out of that. 
One so does what? not simply walk into the EU. It's from the game chat. Oh, that's a level 96 raptor. Might get that. Have you ever seen the most powerful leader in the free world dab? <laughs> Every fucking day. I know day. I've seen a picture of Hillary Clinton dabbing. <laughs> yeah, that was as she was falling down, more than likely. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, oh, no, no, wait, wait, sorry, 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 uh, cold. The flu, yeah, that's what it was. No, she, she didn't fall down because of some neurological disorder. What are you all talking about? She, she has the flu. Um, no? <laughs> yeah, I, I think I would also side on the fact that Russia does not have the power or the will to do anything unless provoked. And even when provoked, so far they're being restrained. Russia has the power to do one thing, and it's a very important thing. Turn off the gas. Start, nope, start a nuclear war. No, you can do that still, but it's, as a land-based occupation, it does not have the strength or the will. The thing is, it has the strength and the will to do it, but for what end? Exactly. There's no reason for Russia to do yeah. it. That's the whole point of I all think this They shit. would not launch an offensive war. So that whole, we need an army to protect ourselves from these people who are not hostile. Russia has always been yeah. defensive, and they're good at that. I'm waiting until, like, you know, Macron is leading his troops into war, like, next winter. We, we need an army to protect ourselves from these people who we buy things from. Wait a minute. Um, hmm. What do you have, mean by this? That doesn't have good aesthetics, does it? No, it doesn't. Not at all. So we have. We're Belgrade. gonna go. To, we're gonna start a cold war with America, Russia, and China. Ah, so you're choosing the Venezuelan project. Very good. You're choosing the Venezuelan diet program. Very good. Sign here, here, and here. Well, yeah, war against Russia is going to be a bit difficult, considering their oil supply mainly comes from Russia. I am waiting for... Um, oh, shit, what was it? You know, it's almost like, uh, what would be the thing that led to, like, a... Uh... I, can't, I can't remember the context for it, but it was the... What would lead to the US being involved in, like, an all-out actual war against someone, and my thoughts are... Uh, mix things up a bit. China attacks Hawaii. <laughs> Again. As opposed to Japan doing it. Oh, that's true. It was Japan. I get those confused every now and then. But, uh... Because <coughs> that's the thing. What, like, Russia could maybe, like... Um, their, like, land grab would be... Um, Alaska. If they were going to land grab something. Because Alaska has a massive oil field. Yeah, that we're, we we ourselves don't fucking tap into his biggest bullshit on the fucking planet. No, 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 like, no. We tap, we, we, no, no, no. We tap on. into Pers some of it, but well, personally, I like our strategy of uh, having other places deplete their oil first. <laughs> I, I, I I love ah an intellectual. I love once some guy did a video. He's like, try, he was talking to a bunch of people. He's like, a video presentation to Congress, I think it was, or the Environmental uh, Safety Protection Agency or something like that. Either. He basically did, he did a, yeah, he did a presentation where he was like, this is the Alaskan Nature Preserve. All you see is just like a field. Just as far as the eye can see, just an empty field of white and a bush. And he plays the video, and you just hear. <laughs> and then he fast forwards. <laughs> oh, sorry. He, oh, just, just headline he, I just found. Sorry, go on. Then he fast forwards, and it's like a time lapse. It starts becoming a time lapse video, too, where it's like every second is a minute, and then it eventually becomes every minute is an hour. And basically, he shows them four days worth of footage where nothing moved. 
much nature many preserve wow yeah not a single animal not a bird not even like the gra the grass wasn't even growing because it was just ice and it, it was a like and he cut out and then he was just like why is this a nature preserve is it because of that bush is that bush keeping us from drilling the oil here I will personally go dig up and move that bush if that's what it takes <laughs> to allow us to dig, to drill the oil out of this area. Because because here's the thing, folks. Eventually, because of the research we've done, it's going to come out on its own. That's the funny thing people don't realize. Oil, oil can leak from its sealed containment. Well, you know. As an aside, uh, in terms of the Saudi Arabian oil, uh, Saudi Arabia has a stiff, a special kind of oil, which is used in printed circuit boards, uh, from what I'm told, as well, Bill but... knows quite a lot about this. So the fact that they have this oil is um, useful because it means we yeah. don't have to yes. synthetically make it, which is significantly easier. Yeah. However, if they do decide told... to jack up the prices massively, it can be synthetically produced. At which point, well, Saudi Arabia's it, it, like oil economy collapses. I I, I had told Bill about so. that. It's not just their it's not just their oil. It's our oil too. Basically, we need the oil from both the west and the east mm -hmm. to cre use the chemicals to make micro make all the plastics we use in computer chips and stuff like that. I think it can be it, made synthetically, but it can. It's more it's expensive. More. Yep. And the problem is that while it's expensive. Um, to manufacture, but they're willing to sell it cheaply enough in exchange for certain trade deals. Uh, they have us apparently over a barrel and can do what they like, like attack Yemen for no apparent reason. Yeah, yeah the Saudi and, Arabian you know, be deal, like the head of the Human Rights Council, despite them having like public floggings for things that are considered non-issues in other countries. I, what was it called? The meeting of the thirteen nations, or something like that. Basically, way back when, when all this shit was getting settled, basically, like, all the ruling nations on the you know, in the world, basically, made a, they made a deal with Saudi Arabia, basically giving them free reign to do whatever the fuck they wanted, nobody would interfere with them, provided they continued to sell oil to the rest of the world. If it wouldn't be for that bullshit, Saudi Arabia would have been wiped out the planet long ago. Well, that's the thing. They have like, categorical links to, you know, international terrorism, the attacks oh, on yeah. uh, September the 11th, you know, all the evidence is there that these people are not in the best interests of the rest of the world. However, they have all the rest of the world doesn't seem to do shit about it, oddly enough. While they have oil, we, uh, we seem not to care. Yeah. It Since sucks. they don't have oil, though, um, they better hope their tourist industry is strong. Is that a Microraptor? Looks like a Microraptor. Or, I mean, even even without... Because here's the thing. Um, th there's still investigations going... Like, w the, the dude, they decapitated... Oh, yeah, the guy they just, like, cut industry. up because Twitter yeah. gave them his information. Good job, Twitter. You've killed more people than Gab. How's that feel? <laughs> YouTube, you ain't a, you ain't above this shit either. Yeah. Just so you know. At but, least uh, YouTube but shooter thing, was like had a negative kill death ratio. <laughs> <laughs> they went in to try to shoot people, and someone actually came back to life. <laughs> but no, the. Uh, that shit's still being investigated. That shit's not going away. Because here, because Trump actually does not give two fucks. He doesn't give two fucks about anything. Apart from America, because that's his job. Yep, that is his fucking... For years and years, so people would dab on America, people dab on America, and the president would be like, okay, well, you know, we have trade deals with them, we have to take this. Okay, you know, it was a slight dab. You know, it's not so bad. Uh, you know, you... Oh, you know, Ob Obama would use his own spit to lube up their cocks before they shoved them up his ass. <laughs> but, but, but Trump goes, whoa, 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 what the fuck was that? 
Oh, well, it looked like, sir, he was about to dab on us. No, 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 no. You do not fucking dab on the United States of America. Uh, sir, they always dab on us. Not anymore, they don't. Draw up some plans. And meanwhile, Saudi Arabia is like, uh, what are you doing? What do you think we're doing? It, that headline it, that I found that was so funny is like, <laughs> from Newsweek, Angry Goy 2, neo-Nazi video game lets users kill LGBT people and minorities to save Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh, I just I just scrolled down and the first thing I noticed was another mission involves killing journalists inside the offices of the fake news network. <laughs> Someone's getting the yeet. Also, my Rex is going to be falling for some time. Oh, where's he gone? There it is. Uh, the description of the game, uh, it, it, part of the first paragraph is a. Uh, uh, a neo-Nazi video game that allows users to slaughter gay men, Jews, other minorities, and journalists. I mean, the market provides, I guess. <laughs> Thing is, though, instead of like, oh, you know, they wouldn't let that happen to like, you know, straight white men. Oh, that's literally every single game, pretty much. Yeah. What's that? Call of see, Duty apparently doesn't exist. Because you see, we weren't allowed to kill anything other than straight white men for the longest time in video games. Otherwise, it was called racism. That's why you get things like Doom, where you kill demons. Yeah. Goblins. Don't My make goods. them. Appreciating goblins. From a very hot region. In bed with the goblins. Oh, Succubus yeah, goblins. Of... Yeah, that reminds me of this uh, really great uh, program in which they uh, it, it, they took like these creepy little long nose things and <laughs> exterminate them. That's uh, I believe that's um, Minecraft, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. No, no, no. Mm. You, know, you know, you know the the anime. Oh yeah, yeah. Goblin uh... Slayer. Ah, oh, I was I saw uh, yeah. I saw some of the, I've not seen all of them yet, so I wanna on. see what the anime. Were you, but what were you thinking? I've seen V's video on that and the comments section is people going, Okay, now is this a subtle metaphor for Jews or Muslims? And it's just like what if they're just goblins? What if that's it? There's no like deeper okay. message. What if they're just goblins? What if they're just goblins and motherfuckers? Like, for... why does this uh, thing to, have to have to a deeper message? Can we just kill the chat, That was Red Dead Redemption 2, I believe. Yeah, where uh, you, you dab on the feminists. You saw, you saw fucking CNN is trying to suit the White House because uh, oh, and, and you and removed... specific... no, no, not only that, but a specific uh, um, Secret Service agent as well. You removed our press pass. You you can't do that. That's against the law. Actually, actually, it's his fucking press conference. He can decide who comes and who goes. And also, CNN's not banned. Just the just Jim Acosta. Because Jim Acosta. Jim did Acosta. You know, I loved that. Sh it was such bullshit. They're sitting there trying to say, "Oh, I never touched her, no, dude." We have you touching her. There's also a oh, load of supercuts which are hilarious. Like oh, yeah. the one with the Doom Guy execution, where it just rips off her arm. <laughs> but, but the thing is, like, Jim, Jim, you know, I highly doubt you're going to be listening to this, but, you know, if anyone knows Jim, just let him know this. I agree it was an assault. It was an assault. You were reacting to her grabbing for the mic. That's what you should have argued. Don't argue you've never touched her. There's video evidence of you fucking... Bed with the goblins. Succubus Sorry. goblins. It's been doctored. That just makes you look stupider when they prove that it wasn't doctored. You Apparently touched Paul her. Joseph it Watson wasn't... did a video on that element of it, and the conclusion was uh, the playback device playing the video uh, it's just a frame drop. That's all it is. Yep. But the, the thing is... What the... Jim, hey, you had a Suzuki. 
What's the matter Jim, with you? You had a natural kid? reaction. You had a natural reaction to somebody reaching and trying to grab the mic out of your hands. Natural reflex reaction. Nothing wrong with it. I'm what is not an issue. However, I would have still banned you from the White House because when they tell you to give They got him. It, you give them their mic back. It's not yours. It's theirs. They decide who gets it. You don't like it? Go somewhere else. Yeah. I mean, if you if your if your objective for going to a White House press conference is to shit on the president, then uh, yeah, you might as well and, write and, a, a dossier and, and send it to BuzzFeed. And before everybody starts going, oh, but the Sorry, president's that was piss being the president's being mean, fucker. Do, uh, uh, Barack Obama had someone removed from his press. Sorry, because he had them removed because he didn't like the tone of their voice. Fuck you. And y'all cheered for that. Y'all applauded when that happened. So go fuck yourself. I've just remembered. I have honey now. I can make a nanny. Nanny. Now on more serious, now on more serious issues. Scott, how's art going? Yeah, it seems to be all right. This ranting guy reminds me of Magog. Uh, they are from the same part of the world, so that's probably probably not a coincidence. Have you managed to find? Have you managed I'm to find bees I'll yet? talk to you guys later. Uh, Take care, although first, I was going to mention that uh, that while looking into that angry goy thing, I found another game called uh, George Zimmerman's Big Game Hunter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> see you later, Kerr. Well, Alrighty then. <laughs> anyway, see ya. America. Yes, no, Magog of Morse guys, I believe, from... Oh, where's Magog from? Is he from Louisiana? I have no idea, dude. I know you're from that part of the world. I am, but I don't know of a Magog. Uneducated swine. Probably. But yeah, Magog of Morse is a uh, content creator. I know. Oh, well then. Oh, unheard well of then, in yeah. this community. Sorry. Community. Community. He is also we one of the people the who is trying to continue to be friends with people despite their, like. Political of, views? Yeah, which is not necessarily doing him some favors all the time, but, uh. I just. That, that shit just. It's like, I, you know, I'm friends with Monday <laughs> Matt, I've met him. Yeah, he can do things that annoy me, but. You know there used to be people who were married to each other and they had different political views? Yeah, I remember when that was a thing yeah. that could happen. And I like how the you Democrat know, people... Party assumed that's still the case because, you know, men must be voting Republican and women must be voting Democrats, right? That's how that works. Uh... Bed with the goblins. It's almost like people are individuals who may or may not vote for different things. Heresy? I know, right? All right, the question is, if I can make a nanny, will it be able to imprint on the pigeon completely within the remaining, like, hour? The I need to make scissors also... and cut mine and Stu's hair. You can cut mine too, I'm upstairs. Uh, or have you already cut no, mine? remember you died and you didn't respawn. Yes, I did. Huh. Okay, well, your body isn't anywhere I can see. Huh. Unless you somehow died in the great yeeting of the map? But I've only okay. found yours and mine and Stu's bodies, and I obviously found mine because it's me. Uh, huh. Oh, last I, I, I... When I finally did die, I respawned in the house and then logged off. Ah, fair enough. Uh, see but later, this Chris. was... But this was the second. This was before the house disappeared for the second time. Yeah. So I may be levit. I may be levitating somewhere. No, I'd have seen it. I'd imagine. Um, I need to find obsidian. I'm trying to where obsidian is. So have you managed to find bees? No. Since you have honey. So how do you get honey? Uh, I spawned in fifty honey. Ah, well then. The conclusion being, do. finding bees honey. Are on a map where it's like a good five, ten minute flight. I've not been to this bit before. Interesting. Uh, fuck, it's a good five, ten minute flight to the place where there might be bees. 
You should have just spawned yourself in a queen bee. Nah. Spawned 50 honey, made a hive. I thought you needed 300 honey to make... Oh, no, wait. No, it is 50 honey to make hive. Never mind. And that shit lasts for fucking ever. Does it stack in the beehive? Yep. To a thousand. Thank, thank God. Ugh. Yeah, trying to stream in my um, my Discord a bit more, just so it's... Uh, just so I'm not constantly renaming bits of knuckers. Because, yeah, I'll get a few less people in, because people will be like, oh, no one's online, but... Uh, It's not so bad. It also means people don't just come in and uh, say the things and or do the things. Conversely, we could jump into Stu's server onto the ARC chat and harass the people who are playing. One moment. Alright, there we go. Can you hear me alright, Skog? Yep. Cool. Yep. Hey, we can jump and do whatever chat you want to jump into. It doesn't bother me none. Yeah, I'm <laughs> six. Now I've got, um... Gren's game later as well. Mm. So I knocked me on too late, so I think you want to start at 6 or 7 o'clock. And yeah, it's only 4 now, but... Probably going to try and run this stream no more than 3 and a half hours. Sorry about that. No way. Oh. Yep. Hmm. Where have I seen obsidian? So I've mined some in the past. Guess as good as mine on that one, Skog. Because I was like, oh, I'll next. just get my scissor. Wait, yeah, they've gone. <laughs> Probably try and get some more snails while I'm out here. See one on the way back. Could be careful of my stamina because while I'm out here, I could be attacked by bullshit. Like that bullshit. You know what's bullshit? Uh, Shit from bulls. Uh, this is when I find out there's obsidian next to my house and I've just been blind. You get a gas bag at some point. What are they like? I'm guessing that's how you get the gas on this server. No, they just inflate themselves and blow up, and or away. So what? So what use do they have? They're like hot air balloons. So they're good. They're an alternative flying mount. Seems to be. Some flavor of heavy lifter, anyway. Where did I find obsidian? It's the kind of thing if I found it, I was like, huh. And then didn't really remember where it was because I'd mined a shitload and therefore had a shitload. You never thought you'd run out of it. Well, I didn't think my house would get destroyed twice. Well, apparently in the next mod, they're going to put that uh, thing back in, but hopefully they're not going to include the house destruction. They're going to put what thing back in? The uh, the thing which made all the houses get destroyed. Oh, the element veins. Presumably, there's an element, element vein where my house is. Um, yeah, apparently. Somewhere, or if not by your house, somewhere's nearby. Which we just fucking missed for some reason? Well, it's not turned on, so it's not visible in the game. Apparently. Unless the lamp posts are element veins. No, it's gonna be something substantial by I guess. It's probably gonna be something like um a supply beacon, like a little auto miner comes down and you have to defend it while it digs and then presumably you steal its cargo. That's my guess. 
Hmm. That was an interesting like PVE the... event. Well, uh, you know, that would be my guess of how if I was going to do it as a defense mission. You find one of these auto miners and you basically go and knock it over type thing. Am I coming through okay, by the way, or am I roboting? A uh, tiny bit of roboting, but not as bad as last night. It's like every few letters, not every few syllables or words. That was because I was going up and down stairs. Being okay. surrounded by concrete kind of messes with the uh, phone. Yep. Now, is this a tree? Oh, <laughs> I wanted to put a tree house here. Wow, there's a big ass tree that's not there anymore. I was hoping I'd be able to put a tree house on it. Um, that's an XP booster I'm going to come to later. Where's this obsidian? Oh, it's somewhere around here. Uh, at some point, I need to get a lady, Argent Davis. So I can get the eggs. Ah, uh, bird eggs. I can't remember if I shared it in the swamp, but I know I shared it somewhere. The, um. I don't know, I guess like the angel type thing that catches the guy who's falling. <laughs> And it's just like, oh, he saved. And then it takes it to a nest full of, like, the oh, baby yeah. angels. And it's just like, uh, Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've been saved by an angel. Well, apparently not. Oh. Oh. If I were obsidian, where would I hide? Uh, next to the obelisk. Uh, I, I'm going in that direction, hopefully. Actually, if the uh, if obsidian functioned the same way as it does in the real world, you'd find it next to volcanic activity. I've not seen a volcano on here yet. And I know I found some. I'm pr well, I'm pretty sure I found some in the city. Mm. In the city, the quiet city, the obsidian sleeps tonight. That doesn't work quite as well. Uh, it's been the, well, it's socially better at least than the Tyrant Fascista in the oven. <laughs> the mighty oven, Ooh. the Hebrew screams tonight. I laugh not because the content is funny, but because it is so absurd it is funny. It's like, is the first moment I was like, wait, is that, is, is that what this is doing? Is that where it's, oh, 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 oh my, <laughs> oh, no. I have to leave now before I get put on a watch list again. <laughs> In the oven, the mighty oven, the Hebrew screams tonight. The... <laughs> oh no, oh no. There must be something fucking up with my my phone signal. Oh. Because I thought it was I thought it was just Discord giving me problems. Because you sound robotic to me every now and then, so I assumed that I was sounding robotic to you. Ah, uh, it's just my program out failing. Don't worry. Well, no, it's it's I think it's my phone connection because my GPS uh, is having issues as to what road I'm on. Because mm. I'm on the interstate, but it keeps like jumping with the it keeps going. Oh, you're on the side road. Get onto the interstate. Oh, no, wait. You're on the interstate. Continue for five miles. Oh, no, wait. You're on the side road. I'm like, motherfucker, what's the... What the hell's going on? Uh, I, think was, I think something was fucking with my signal for a while. Well, it's my one viewer. Thank you for staying. I'll probably be ending in about ten minutes. As, uh... People are not going to watch them as long as in three hours, and you know, people might want to see what extinction's like, in which case they've come to the wrong place, but you know. Yeah. But if you want to see a guy shoot a pigeon for 45 minutes, we got yeah. you covered. 
Hey, I was shooting it for less than five minutes. <laughs> I just wish people wouldn't be so stupid. Yeah. Like, well, I, I, under I understand you've got your political allegiances, but come on, man. Even I call Trump out on some of his bullshit, you know? Oh, yeah. But, you know, the, the bombing of the Syria thing, I was not happy about that shit. No one was happy about that. That was completely oh, no. out of the blue for pretty much everybody. No, no, no. The news media praised him for it. They said he it was the first time he did anything presidential. Presidential apparently means blowing up large areas of the desert. Blowing up large areas of other people's countries. Yeah. yeah. It's like... It's like, oh, it was unattended, like, you know, munitions factories. It's like, really? Then... Then why are you then why did you get... Yeah. Also, why did you give... If it was unattended... Why were the uh, troops given like uh, 24 hours notice that they were that area was about to be bombed? It was unattended when you bombed it because we told everybody get the fuck out or you're gonna die. But <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't just unattended. Yeah, it's like oh you know it's like um, one of them was just like yeah they literally blew up like a parking garage. Hold up. That was one of the targets. But, but I just, it, it blew my mind. The news media was, was like, oh, it was the only time they ever praised him. I was like, now you must, I was like, I hope you realize, I hope this is a sign that you did something wrong. Like, the people you cannot stand are praising you for an action. More than likely, it was the wrong one. Donnie, Donnie, bombing Syria. No. Telling lies. No. Good. Donny Donny doing literally anything else? Bad. Orange man bad. Orange man bad. That has to be one of the best memes of this year. The orange man bad with the, M the NPC. Because it is just I love so encompassing of the people who do not think. Well, I I loved how it I loved how it came all came about too because originally the NPC meme wasn't about anyone in particular. It yeah. was just hey, there are some people who are just like this, and then the left went, "You can't demonize the left like this." Everyone's like, "Did you say the left? I didn't say the left. Did you said the left?" Uh, they it's did. all these oh, Russian bots calling other people NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it wasn't about the if it wasn't about the left. Why is it completely, perfectly described the people on the left? You tell me. <laughs> so I've been flying around for Obsidian for a while now. Mm -hmm. I ain't seen shit. Uh, we ain't seen shit. Oh hell, looks like we need more prayer in schools. <laughs> I it still concerns me though that we're just like I can't remember how it came up. Oh yeah, it was that was just Lozzy just randomly singing in the chat and me being like, the fuck are you on about? Also, can you at least do it better? Oof. And then she's just like, oh, it doesn't make any sense, though. I'm like, you don't know the fucking Holy Grail myths? Uh, yeah, I... Yeah. <laughs> Have you not seen Indiana Jones? Edu education no. will be a thing. Education will be a thing. Da, 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 da. Edu yeah, education will be a thing in our relationship. I said nothing about a relationship, but okay. And someone comes into the Discord, starts like mumbling something, and you're like, C "Could you do it better?" No. Okay. Do you at least know why you're doing it? It doesn't make yeah. any sense. What? What? <laughs> Have you not heard like the 
like myths of King Arthur, if you've not heard the myths of Glastonbury. Oh, Skog, I think you passed up Obsidian. Huh? Well, I mean, I can't... Well, this is a 15-second delay, but it was underneath the overpass on the right-hand side when you were flying by it. Hmm. I know some rocks that look like Obsidian. That might be... That may be what I saw. I'm not in the swamp only, I'm in my own server. Uh, you're welcome to jump in, there's a link in the description. Huh. Um, there's loads of shiny rocks, but they're not yeah. the right kind of shiny yeah. rocks. It's just now getting to the point where I told where I told you about the rock, so <laughs> yeah, that is not a fifteen second delay. It's much later. Mm. Yeah, no worries. I'll still probably be back in the swamp in about four minutes anyway, so no worries. Yeah, having the nanny and the uh, the it's hatchery. gonna make things all. Oh, it's so and much the easier! I just need to get myself a nice little ferry to get the uh, the rare flowers in the fast quantities, and all will be well. Yep. And, and now boom. that you've got the uh, and now that you've got the beehive, you can tame a megatherium. Yep. And sheep. Sheep eat honey. They eat the uh, rare vegetable cakes that are made of honey. Oh, okay, yeah. Go out to get obsidian. This won't take long, I thought. Be back home soon, I thought. I thought wrong. You know, since they've, there is pretty much no water connecting anything on this map, you would think, you would think they'd have some overland vehicles for speedy travel because you can't use rafts. Well, they've got roadways all throughout the city. Yeah, but there's no vehicles. Like, I'm expecting them That's to the put the tech out, ATV. Like, yeah. Uh, no, I, I was expecting something to replace rafts. Like something, you know, you could build like, you know, vehicles or something to drive over the roads and shit and you can load up you could load up things like you could load up dinosaurs like we could do in the other one with boats. I'll probably just get a Gallimimus to be fair. Yeah. Diplodocus bus. Yep. Yeah, get a Diplodocus, put a platform saddle on it. Load up all the dinos you can on them. I know the other guys have got themselves I've seen a Quetzal, a wild one. I know that what the other tribes uh the O negative guys have got one. Good. Because they needed it to get their dude back. But uh they got one of their big stone fellas. Hmm. But uh they've offered to give me a lift. Uh if I get one. My intention is to try and get two and uh bring him home. Hmm. Well, we're coming up for the uh, three hours mark, so... Yep, I'm actually gonna go ahead and pop into Bouge for right now. Yep. See, I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna go on a fishing trip, see if I can find somebody to conversate with, or if, when you're done, you can pop in too. Well, I'm gonna be in like 20 seconds, if that. Okay, well, I'll see you then. Well, uh... Thank you for everyone for watching. Uh, have a nice day and all of that jazz. I am going to uh, finish for here because I've I'm I've run out of things to do for now. I might be on tomorrow. Who knows? See ya.